welcome to circuitbelt.com this short video is going to be about frequency counters and in this particular case about these two instruments from Keysight slash HP Keysight 53220A universal frequency counter and really old HP 5315A a universal counter these two instruments sits particularly on opposite end on the spectrum of features and when they were first introduced so HP 5315A you can see at the top by the looks of it it is a really old instrument and 53220A is particularly new in this particular video I am going to show you how this really old really low cost 5315A universal counter compares against 53220A a really expensive almost top of the line frequency counter available right now from Keysight this video is only about one particular feature of both of these instruments performing totalization on channel 1 against gate on channel 2 this 5315A has input signal connected to channel 1 which is input A and a gate signal is connected to channel B so just to have a brief idea of what I am what going to measure there is going to be an input signal on channel number 1 and on channel number 2 is going to be a gate so gate is going to be square wave an instrument supposed to count how many pulses on channel 1 are there in the period of gate time 5315A's acquisition method in totalization mode is like this it takes the complete pulse from a rising edge to rising edge on channel 2 and show you the total number of pulses of channel 1 and 53220A has a possibility to select whether to take the positive or negative pulse I will just count on positive pulse whatever the 53220A measures 5315A should measure double of that as simple as that so the limitation what I am going to talk about here is the minimum gate time of 53220A which is limited to 100 microseconds specification of 53220A specify minimum gate time to be 100 microseconds so from here to here minimum allowed gate time is 100 microsecond so which also limits how fast these channel 2 pulses come specification of 5315A also shows minimum gate time to around 60 milliseconds but I believe it only talk about this particular knob which is used to set the gate time and if you go in there and select gate time and you turn the knob all the way to the down it shows 51 milliseconds so I believe the specification only talk about that and it does not specifically talk about what gate time can you specify by the channel B so let's go into another mode right now on channel 1 I am feeding a 80 megahertz sine wave on channel 2 I am feeding a 1 hertz square wave from here to here it's a 1 second period and right now on your screen you can see it is around showing 80 mega pulses and if I reset it this instrument does not automatically record the next measurement so you're supposed to press this reset button every time you totalize and you want to reset the totalize let's reset it and it counts up around 80 mega pulses okay so 80 mega pulses and now I will decrease this time to half a second by setting the channel 2 frequency to 2 hertz now channel 2 frequency is 2 hertz let's reset the pulse it's 40 mega pulses okay now let's go to 1 kilo now this frequency is set to 1 kilo hertz and so this period is supposed to be 1 microsecond so in 1 microsecond let's see how many pulses is it record it records exactly 80,000 pulses and if you want to look at my calculator this is how it looks it's supposed to record 80k pulses and it did record 80k pulses let's go up in the frequency set it to 5 kilohertz and let's see how much is supposed to record let's go back in the menu and so it's supposed to show 16,000 pulses reset it, it exactly shows 16,000 pulses let's go to 10 kilohertz at 10 kilohertz it's supposed to show 8 kilo pulses let's reset this it shows 8 kilo pulses now let's go back to one second one hertz and reset it and let's see how much it counts it counts again 80 mega pulses and let's plug the same two signals to this new instrument right now you can see on your screen 
channel 1 is around 80 megahertz channel 2 channel 2 is around 1 hertz let's go to totalize mode and it's gated on this particular side it is set to 50 percent automatic level and let's go to gate menu gate and instead of time I need to change to channel 2 because I suppose to use channel 2 as gate and set up channel 2 polarity I will take positive negative it doesn't matter I will take positive and set up channel 2 I will use DC because it's a really low frequency signal I suppose to use DC I am using DC 1 mega ohm input the gate signal is 1 volt pick to pin with 500 millivolts offset so I have set my reference level to 500 millivolt exactly in the middle of the signal and everything else is okay so you can see on your screen as I have previously mentioned I have selected the gate time to be positive pulse only so 53220A for one second of total period of frequency half a second here it's showing around the count of half of 80 mega which is 40 mega pulses I can go down and have it 500 millihertz now you can see it's 500 millihertz it's supposed to exactly show 80 mega pulses again to go back to the problem slow pulses or slow gate timer is not an issue when you try to exceed this specification of 100 microseconds of gate time this becomes an issue while 5315A allows any gate time whatsoever to decrease the gate time for 53220A I'm going to set the channel 2 frequency to 1 kilohertz 1 kilohertz means 1 millisecond period which is going to translate to 500 microsecond of gate time I have set the frequency of channel 2 to 1 kilohertz which means gate time of 500 microhertz gate time of 500 microhertz should give you 40 kilo pulses and it is giving 40 kilo pulses so everything is working fine let's decrease the time further I will set the frequency to 2 kilohertz which means gate time is 250 microseconds for 250 microsecond it should be 20 kilo pulses so it is showing correctly 20 kilo pulses let's decrease this even further to 5 kilohertz with 5 kilohertz total period is 200 microsecond and the on time is 100 microsecond as per the specification of 53220A minimum gate time is defined 100 microseconds minimum gate time of 100 microseconds is not only what you can define in the instrument when the gate is set to time and not to the external channel number 2 right now it's selected to external channel number 2 the frequency is set to 5 kilohertz for 250 and now for 100 microsecond gate time you should see it should show around for 80 megahertz input signal you should show 8 kilo pulses okay so if I go further up in the frequency let's set it to 6 kilohertz which translates to 83.33 microsecond of gate time which should give you 6666 pulses so it's perfectly fine let's go further up let's go further up to 7 kilohertz gate time of 71.42 microseconds and now it's broken so around 83 microseconds it works and around 74 microsecond it doesn't work okay so this particular instrument has limited the gate time of channel number two even for the totalized mode to around 100 microsecond as per the specification there is no surprise there but what is surprising that this 5315A like many decade older instrument than 53220A perform better in this case let's switch back to same signal switch back to the 5320A reset the total as I said earlier 5315A records for the total pulse for 7 kilohertz pulse total time is 142.85 microsecond 142.85 microsecond gives you 11.428 pulses so if you reset it it will give you the almost same result let's go further up and set the 20 kilohertz there I have set it to 20 kilohertz with 20 kilohertz it should have gate time of 50 microseconds and it should show 4000 pulses it exactly shows 4000 pulses this particular instrument which is multi-decade old 
and multiple order of magnitude cheaper than this particular instrument supports gate time of almost any arbitrary unit as per the specification up to 100 megahertz i believe with this knob you can set it to minimum as per specification you can set it to minimum 60 milliseconds goes minimum 51 milliseconds let's go back to gating mode 4000 pulses still and if you use the same signal here it will be totally broken so this instrument does not support gate time less than 100 microseconds as per the specification but if you compare this particular feature of this instrument this is underperforming than this i see no software limitation why it couldn't be possible while the higher specification model of this instrument 53230a supports the gate time of minimum one microsecond which is of course better my question here is why would keysight limit such a basic feature for a such an expensive instrument while this really low price instrument from the same particular company multiple decades old can perform this operation perfectly fine so gate time is really limited in this case and if you are wondering where would you use such a short gate time i'll show you one really good example i have been dealing quite a few camera modules and there you can use this feature so just to show you an application where you could particularly use this feature so this time and diagram shows you three signals frame sync line sync and pixel clock and if you want to know how many pixel clocks were there in each individual line you feed pixel clock into channel one and this l sync to channel number two and then you can calculate and then you can count how many pixel clocks were there while the signal was high but this particular instrument doesn't allow this period to be less than 100 microsecond so anything above 5 kilohertz is particularly invalid and it will not work while this instrument can show you count from here to here of any arbitrary frequency up to 100 megahertz so you can use this feature to count if your frame has appropriate number of pixel in a line so this kind of stuff is useful and this instrument is limits you there so that's all for this video